right, it is time to continue our quest, our epic NPC man quest. We are getting towards the end. We are getting towards the end, and we're actually started board today. So if you're a Viva La Dirt League fan, you should start seeing board on the channel soon, too. We start from the very beginning. We're doing it just like we are here for Epic NPC Man, and we are on part 25. What are we on here? Let's just make sure. I think we're on, yeah, part 25. Let's do it. Ah, hello, adventure, and welcome to the... We are in need of a brave... Step. Thank you, adventure. Ah, hello, adventure, and welcome. Skip. We are in need of a skip. Just take it. Ah, hello, adventure, and welcome to the town of Honeywood. We are in need of a brave hero adventurer such as yourself. <laughs> Please, won't you stay a while and hear the troubles of our poor town? Oh, well, okay then. Honeywood was founded in the Second Age, just as we made contact with the Elves. It was a happy time. A peaceful time. A time with lots of garlic. And the horrible dragon's Torellian attacks. All our best fighters had already been lost to the fire. Scorched the land. But don't go to the castle adventure. And some Lord people say you can have too much garlic, but I the roads say you can't have too much of a good thing. Honeywood. And Dark. The High Sorcerer before me. The land mysteriously vanished. Was lost. And the kingdoms of Gurdorn and Wraith, they battle themselves. The Spellship of Nature. <laughs> <Nature's laughs> <Nature's laughs> Some of the members don't actually like the name, but they know Stephen. Jeff and his brother stole a hammer, which was rightfully dead. deceived. For another wow. was made. And with wow. your help, adventure, <laughs> Honeywood may once again know the warm glow of peace. So thank you. And scene. Oh my God! Thank you so much, adventure. I don't think anyone's all. reached Never the end before. That. Never did that. You know, that. you rehearse and ever. you rehearse, but adventures just go skip, skip, skip. You know, and I started wondering why am I even doing <laughs> this? Who this. am I doing this for? But then someone like you comes along, so present and engaged. It reminds me, it reminds me why I do it. It's for you, adventure. It's always been you. You give me purpose. Oh wow! I feel so much lighter. Thanks for letting me unload. You know, you really are a good listener, Adventure. Thank you. Adventure? Adventure? <laughs> Brit's eyes. You're AK, aren't you? <laughs> when I see Brit, it's so funny. This is a terrible still. I, I apologize, Brit, but it, it would. For some reason, I get this memory in my head when he was a uh, when my when my son Devin was a child, like real young. He called girls who had blonde hair blondies. I thought like I didn't think it was the greatest thing to do because I was like, you better be wa we better watch out. I think people will just think that's a bad thing to do, son. You're very young. He naturally called uh, women with blonde hair blondies, and he's like, I love blondies, dad. And the funny thing is, when he was super little he couldn't pronounce his r's or he had like he had this little speech impediment that was so cute he was such a cute little kid he'd be like i love blondie's daddy <laughs> and i'm like i'm like son i don't know but that that's probably not a really good thing to say son <laughs> like, i don't even know somebody's going to take that the wrong way next thing call my call my son a blondist you know what I mean? You got to be careful in a world today like this. <laughs> it wasn't, you got to be careful what you say. You never know. And, and every time I see Brent, for some reason, I hear my, my, my son in my head saying that sometimes. It's, it's, it's usually on these tight shots where you see your blonde hair. <laughs> You're AFK, aren't you? Fuck. Skip. I didn't even say anything. Adventurer, please help. I haven't got much time. Of course, what's going on? The Orcs of Schmarrenrog have attacked Darkwood. It's only a matter of minutes before they break through the northern gate. Will you help? Of course, what can I do? The way I see it, we've got four options. Option one, <laughs> no, we man. can run straight to the gate. Don't do that to me again, Option man. two, we can rally support from anyone able-bodied. Option three. <laughs> what do you mean did I call my son? His, his name is Devin. I'm seeing in chat that, that you think I called him Dijoff. <laughs> what did I say? Did I choke? I probably choked. That's probably me choking, by the way. I probably choked on my own saliva, which is disgusting, and I apologize for that. But his name is Devin. I know my own son's name. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, it's a spoiler. What is a spoiler? I'm not even following you right now. You guys are giving me spoilers. I don't want to see no spoilers. I don't want to see no spoilers. Stop it. Three, we can sneak behind enemy lines to disrupt the attack. And option four, we can bolster our own morale. I'm like, what's the, what kind of name is that? Oh, 
Uh, oh, that one's a little bit weird. Good uh, job. Option three. Yeah, 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 good choice. If we sneak around, we may just be able to turn the tides of battle. Great, let's go. Before we go, we must decide how we're going to engage the enemy. Option oh. one, we can exit through the western gate and sneak behind them. Option two, we can steal some orcish armor and sneak straight through the middle. Okay. Option three, we can the disguise Jaffrey. ourselves as lovers and distract the orcs by making out. Option four, forget all this. Let's just kiss each other right here, right now. This is, God, these dialogue options. <laughs> what is going on here? This is so bizarre. Um, option one, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Lee of the Leather Worker is sure? very sexual. Uh, yeah, definitely. He's I mean, very before, sexual. I mean, before we go, we do actually have time for me to craft you one leather item. Okay. Option one. I could craft you some leather braces. Mm. Option two, some fluffy handcuffs and maybe some little <laughs> smooches. Oh. Listen, Liam. Option three, I could craft you a full leather onesie so we can make out all night long. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a horrible or option choices. four, get the upgrades. Let's, Let's just it. make out with it. Li Liam, <laughs> Liam's wrong on every. This is why he's a leather worker. You gotta be careful about leather workers. What is with these dialogue options? Who the hell wrote these? <laughs> Option one, obviously, the braces. Oh, are you sure? Yes, definitely. Okay, yep, yeah, thanks. It's done. Thank you. Right, well, um, I, I, I guess that up. <laughs> Maddie goes, you missing the titles uh, sometimes leaves you out uh, of the setup. Like, Maddie, you've been watching me this long. You know there's a lot that goes over my head. You know, I'm sorry. Sometimes... Sometimes I just can't satisfy everybody, Maddie. I I try. I I try so hard for you, Maddie. Maddie, I'm giving it all I got. And sometimes it's just missing a little bit. And you have to like, you just have to pat me on my large DG head. Did you see my new DG 360 potato head that Mad Style made me? Were you here this morning? Hold on. I have to share this with everybody. He 3D printed a large DG360 potato head with removable soul patch and removable mustache and removable shades. Did you see that? Thank you, Maddie. Okay, Maddie did see that. You guys are going to see this on the fan feedback next week is what I'm, what, what I'm hoping for. These, like everything about this dude, completely awesome. Sometimes I'm like DG360 Potato Head, I guess is what I'm trying to say, Maddie. I mean, like when it comes down to it, I'm not much different. That was that was a one-to-one -one scale. That was the actual size of my head. I don't know how Mad Style got the measurements. He's so metal. I just got to throw up the Mad Style sound effect right now because I'm so very proud of him that he did a one-to-one -one aspect ratio of my head. It is literally a life-size DG360 head. I don't know what he did. He had to sneak into my house. He's so metal. <laughs> Door unlocked? <laughs> you saw him measuring me. Why didn't you do anything? I mean, Matt Style's a friend and all, but if you saw him like come into the house and then put like a tape measure around my head, you saw all that. You helped him? You helped him. God damn it, Pepe. God damn it. Let's go then. Okay. Oh, actually, uh, before we go, <laughs> um, huh, what we actually have another thing we need to do. We need to figure out what we're gonna have for dinner after the war. How is that important right now at all? Option one, we're gonna have a full banquet and then kiss each other passionately. Mm -hmm. yeah, of course. Option two, we could feed each other chocolate covered fruit and just kind of see where it goes. Liam. Or, or option three, we could just have like beer and cider and kind of get a little bit merry and just be like, oh, 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 where, how'd that get in there? You know what I mean? Or Option four. Who wants I think to the answer is both, man. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just pass each other. Let's just make out like. Oh, oh Jesus. my God! This is the weirdest dialogue in a game ever. I am not picking any of these. Sure. <laughs> man. You're forced to pick. What? Uh oh. No. I'm not picking any of them.
Your erotic silence says everything. Let's <laughs> make out. Erotic silence. Hold it for. Oh. Really? Every time. What is wrong with these frigid adventurers? Adventurer, I need you to eat. Man, those orcs were rough. We need some better gear. Yeah, well, I have been wanting to stop at a shop anyway because apparently they have some new gender equitable outfits. Oh, really? Since when? Since the update. Yeah. No more gratuitous, overly sexualized armor for women. Yay. We love you, Fudd. Thanks for stopping really by, like bro. Sexy stuff. Okay, well, you're allowed to, but, you know, people should generally be able to choose what they want to wear. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Have you finished your private conversation in my personal space? Fantastic. Welcome to Bodger's Blacksmith. How can I help you today? Yeah, are you doing the new gender equitable armor? That's right. Here in Honeywood, we want to make sure that all adventurers have access to the same quality clothing and armor options. That is refreshing. Yeah, whatever, just get what you need and let's <laughs> go. Well, how can I help you today? Uh, well, we're fighting orcs, so I guess something that holds up against orcish weapons. Right, fantastic. And um, would you like that in light or heavy armor? Um, let's go heavy. I've got just the thing. The breastplate of Argon. What the f***? Oh, damn, Brett, I guess you'll have to wear that. Oh, Thank you, Wilkstreet. Uh, maybe you should just like shut your mouth, okay? I mean, you shut it up. What happened to gender equity? I assure you, we take gender equity very seriously. Doesn't look like it. Look, I assure you that we are doing everything in our power to make sure that all adventurers are treated fairly and have access to the same quality clothing and armor options. This, this is bullshit. Look, if you guys are finished with this, okay, I'm gonna need some pretty heavy melee defense. I'm thinking some big ass pauldrons, a sick helmet. What do you got? My man. My man. My man. Now, uh, I think I have got just the solution for you, my man. Great. <laughs> the What's that? Piece, uh, the cod piece of schmurgen foot. <laughs> the cod piece of schmurgen foot. I, okay. Shut up. Like, I'm a man, okay? So, like, I need some pretty beefy, like, manly armor. I'm not like none of that girly stuff, so. Oh, I'm afraid I can't do that, sir. We Dude. are supplying the same armor to all genders equally. That is brilliant. Well, I can't adventure in that. You, you, you gotta have something else. Oh, right. Well, I mean, I do have some more gender neutral options if you prefer. Yeah, sure. That sounds great. <laughs> what are those? Schmargenrogian nipple tassels. How are those gender neutral? Well, you do have nipples, don't you? What's wrong? I thought you liked the sexy armor. I do. Unless I... you think that people shouldn't be forced into wearing something based on their gender identity. Uh. So, what'll it be? What is it gonna be? <sighs> Look, okay, fine. Look, I will take the cod piece, but I'm not happy about it. Join the club. Why don't you try it on now? That looks good. You know what's funny is Alan had to wear the underwear underneath, but I think it'd be even funnier if he didn't. <laughs> like really, like it's gotta be it's gotta be stressful to be this naked on camera. I mean, I know me personally, no stress whatsoever. I don't have to worry about a thing, honestly. No, I do. I'm a mess. However, like going to another level of naked is, you know, something that needs to be talked about because Really, going one more level of naked, if Alan had just committed with this like 110% and he did only the cod piece, I would think would have elevated uh, this, <laughs> elevated, I think it would have definitely elevated this uh, skit, you know, way, you know, up there. And uh, he next time, Alan should just say, you know what, I'm going to commit to this sketch. I'm going to go full on without the, the blue underwears under bruise things and i'm just going cod piece you know maddie's like wait a second he's worn less well not on this skit maddie you know i mean when it really matters it really mattered right now you know you're more happy yes. okay good <laughs> let's go <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Like turning around and just being like a bare ass. I can't wait to adventure some more. <laughs> Stop <Yeah>. laughing. <laughs> it, it would have been funnier if he was like completely naked with just the cod piece. And when he turned around and walked away, it was just like bare ass. You know, that would have been funny. That would have been even funnier. Well, here it is. Welcome to Skycraft. Oh, wow. I'm such a noob. Yeah, well, you just got here. Yeah, but your armor looks so epic. How do I get that? <laughs> just relax, Mary. okay? You're just starting out. Yeah, but it looks so cool. Yeah, I would hope Mary, so. I mean, like, I Mary, Mary, how is your fibula? 
I have to get an update on your fibula. It's been like six months unlocking all of this. Six months? Yeah, like for example, this cape, I got this for 100%ing Honeywood and Darkwood, I know. And then this, this breastplate I got for defeating the monks of High Hoag Spire with no psychic damage protection, so. Wow, that seems like a bunch of work. Yeah, it was. But don't worry, with a little bit of patience and like okay, yeah, a couple yeah. hundred hours of grinding, you I, two will yeah. just... Oh, <laughs> this. I yeah, no, I just bought it. Uh, apparently, it's part of the new season cosmetics. Where well, you just spent like real money on that, like actual it dollars. It's feeling much better. Yeah. What's what's wrong? I, it's just you know I'm, I'm so kind of sick of people that, just buying their way to good gear. This shit used to actually mean something. What do you mean? I mean, like you used to be able to see someone walking around in badass armor, and you'd actually be able to know that they did something badass. But apparently now, anyone with a credit card can just buy their way to the top, and I personally think it's fucking lazy. Whoa, mm -hmm. calm mm -hmm. down, buddy. No, I'm not gonna calm down because I busted my ass for this armor. Oh, and you think I didn't? No. What do you think that you did? What What did I do? Wow. What did I do? Let me think. Um. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I I applied for a job. And then I got that job, and then I spent like 40, 50 hours. Reverse psychology moment hit her with truth bombs and logic of the real going into the game world. But we all know as gamers that that logic does not apply because you are not in the game. Can I get an amen? I don't want to hear real life logic when I'm in a game. I want to hear game logic. Yes, sir. Can I get an amen? So even though these truth bombs are hidden and they are truth bombs, they are outside the realm of the game. So therefore they do not exist and are not part of reality. Do you understand what I'm saying? So even though he's coming at you like this and you think that's some strong game, it is not strong game. You squash that and you say, you are not in my reality. No, 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 no. It's like a bad episode of Loki. You know what I mean? And there were a lot of them. Oh, jokes. I mean, it's just... I mean, Loki, he was the god of mischief, you know, the, let's just stick with that mischief, mischief. Okay. Just mischief. We grinding away at that job until I leveled up and I unlocked a pay rise, which allowed me a very class specific perk called, get this, disposable income. A small fraction of which I figured I could allow myself to spend on a little treat for myself, a little cosmetic item in a game that I'm learning for fun. Why not? Why shouldn't I allow myself just a little bit of happiness and this limited time that I get between work get. and sleep? Get now, surely, get. surely one little in-game purchase couldn't hurt. One, one tiny little indulgence before I'm forced get. to clock back into reality and rejoin the endless pendulum of diminishing returns that is this late stage capitalist dystopia that we seem doomed to endure until the bitter end. But yeah, I guess I'm just lazy. My bad. I'm, I'm really sorry. I don't think I've ever thought about it like that. And don't. No, it's okay. Don't ever I mean, it's just cosmetic, it right? It's not like it really matters. It doesn't like affect gameplay or anything, so. Of course yeah, it does. Exactly. It... Now let's go. Because I can't wait to try out this new arcane sword of destruction that I just bought. 100 bucks, plus 30 to all stats. Apparently, this can one hit kill a dragon. F you. Right. Exactly. Exactly. What? Good for you, Britt. Good for you. That's right. Get, get out of oh there. Oh my god. Yeah. Who can. <laughs> Rowan just is perfectly, Rowan fits perfectly into the character and gets right under my skin. It seems like Rowan is just hell bent on getting under my skin no matter what character he's playing. Is it just Rowan? Is it Rowan himself? I must meet this man. I must feel the feels. If, there, if it is just Rowan himself that bleeds through these characters and then Rowan is getting under my skin in such a manner that I can't even understand. Perhaps Rowan is very similar to myself and I'm just having an issue with that. Perhaps because I feel like I'm not really me when I watch Rowan. And I really start to worry about myself. If I'm just a Rowan doppelganger, that's much sexier, you know. I know there's there's women out there that watch this channel that watch me, and I appreciate them. But they are Ro they are more Rowan fans than DG. And then if that's the conundrum, if that's the real problem, and I am just a doppelganger Rowan, will I then be more loved being the doppelganger Rowan than DG? These are questions that my brain asks myself. Stop it, Brain. You're thinking way too much. Oh, my God. Oh, hello, Adventure. <laughs> Thank you, Elsie. I'm a real pickle. Could you help? Yeah, I love you, Elsie. Sure, what Thank do you, you need? 
Well, times are tough and I'm struggling to put food on the table for my hungry family. Friend. Yeah, man, I feel that. It's rough out there. And to make matters worse, my mother is now living <laughs> with us after oh, no, I'm a, ransacked I'm a her village and destroyed too. her home. Oh, oh no, no. that's awful. Yeah. I don't exist. So, Adventure, can you... Daddy, I don't exist. Me? Yeah, sure, what can I do? Well, shall I sell my child or kill my mother? <laughs> this is horrible. I've seen this one. This is a, this what? is horrible. I have too many mouths to feed, so shall I kill my real, mother? So real friend choices. Shall I sell my child for more food? Oh, adventurer, please help me make this difficult decision. <laughs> Hashtag friend problem. I could probably problems. just go and get you some food if you if you want, like some food and some gold or something. <laughs> this is like, what should I do, adventurer? Like literally anything else. I could. I could go and kill the orcs, if you need. Oh, cruel fate. Why must I choose? No one's making you choose, you lunatic. Quickly, adventurer. Time is of the essence. <laughs> the child what, what is very it's sad. If only there was another way. There is another way. Oh, cruel <laughs> world. Why must you do this to me? The world isn't making you do this. I Look, I stop. I can go and get you some, some food or like some gold. You know, I probably have some on me. Just hold on. Look, here, take this. What will it be, adventurer? My beautiful child or my wonderful mother? Oh, quickly, adventurer, time is ticking. What do you mean time? What time? This is absurd. Hurry, adventurer. Time is running. Ow. No. Please don't make me choose. I don't want to choose. Please do not make me choose. Fine. So be it. <laughs> You're right, adventurer. It's too hard to decide. Oh my god! Oh Jesus, thank you. I don't want to have to do this, but you've left me no other choice. <laughs> no! <laughs> what? Stabbing his mom, that's cold. Oh, that's cold, Fred. <laughs> Fred! Fred, you vicious killer, you. Did you did you see that? Let's just this is terrible. Look at this No other choice. No! Oh, oh, oh. What? <laughs> Goodbye, mommy. I loved you to the bitter end. Oh my God! Listen, Come, listen. <laughs> Time to take you to the orcs. Wait, why are you taking? Why? Her? Don't worry. The orcs promised me that they'll take good care of you in your new dungeon home. What? If only the adventurer had made a choice. Then none of this would be happening. I, I had literally no part in this. Say farewell to the adventurer. There's two bad farewell. options. Farewell. I'm gonna go live in my dungeon home now. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I do remember this. What the fuck? <laughs> it's pretty intense. <laughs> and you get experience points. Oh my points. god, that is so it's dark. Really crazy. <laughs> This is great. We are nearly complete, by the way. We're almost current. We, we This season and two more seasons, and we're almost current. And it's kind of crazy because there are still some that I believe I haven't seen. And it's just, it's, this is crazy. Okay, well, thank God the, uh, the prologue's done because that was boring as fuck. Let's get on with some questing. Oh, what class did you end up choosing? Oh. Assassin, because it's badass. Oh, that sounds so cool. I had such trouble picking because you can't change later on. It gave me mad anxiety. Exactly. So, what did you pack? I chose herbalist. <laughs> herbalist? <laughs> yeah. Like gardening and shit? Yeah. Like you want to be a gardener? Well, I heard they have really cool quests later on, so I thought... Yeah. I mean, sure, if you want to go and pick 10 yellow flowers from Outer Keep, that sounds like a bunch of fun. You kind of f***ed up. Oh, you think? I mean, unless you want to do the prologue again. Not really. Well, when you get bored of playing in the dirt and picking herbs, I'm gonna be over here being a badass assassin. Shade away. Okay, do you wanna meet back here in a sec? Yeah. Enjoy picking flowers, dude. Okay. This is like one of the very first ones I ever watched, I believe. Yo, Adam, check out the sick assassin robe I unlocked. Does it look badass? <laughs> Should have oh, spent more time playing so flowers, cool, bro. Man, I love it. Whoa, whoa, what's all this? <laughs> oh, you mean this? <laughs> the this armor and shit. Oh, this is all of my herbalist unlock armor. Cool, eh? You get herbalist armor? Yeah, I befriended an elvish hermit in the woods and he makes me handcrafted enchanted herbalist armor. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Plus, I helped out a tree spirit and as a reward, he gave me this dope staff. It's his leg. Cool, <laughs> He's man. lit. Oh, He's literally finally, lit. Look up there. 
That's my animal companion. He's a hawk <laughs> named Bobo. Isn't he cute? Hey, mate. Bobo Hello. the hawk. What? You get an Bobo animal companion? Hawk. How about you? You must have some awesome assassin perks, right? Oh. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. I, got some, I got some great stuff. Like what? Oh, like, 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 um. Oh, like I get this awesome robe. Oh, man, that's cool. It's like a black, like kind of black, or like off black, like robe. Yeah. It's, it's a new series. Yeah. <laughs> it should be Kira. And what else? Oh, uh, like I got this, this ability. So. What's that? <laughs> it's so cool. I get like a 5% stealth boost when I crouch. Oh, yeah, it's like, it's kind of hard to see you. Yeah. It's so 10 sad. 10% if it's a full moon. Cool, man. That's something cool. It's sad. It's just... It's sad. It? It's sad. Yeah, like you're slightly harder to see, like when you're. Is it? Yeah, like there's a marginal difference, like you're slightly harder to see. Oh, but what? What about your quest? Like you must have an amazing assassin quest, right? Oh yeah, like yeah, man, my quest is dope. So true, backspace. Like what? Like you're out there, like so true, throats dude. and like hiding in the shadows and like firing off arrows and stuff. Well, yeah, it's it's more kind of like it's more kind of like poison-based quests. Oh, I get you. So you're like slipping poison into people's drinks, and, like poison arrows, poison darts, ha cha 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 cha. Well, it's more kind of like like collecting the ingredients for the poison. Do you know what I mean? Oh, huh. it's like kind of like you know, <laughs> huh. collecting mushrooms and. Guess you just and like sucked, herbs and Oh, see? Like poison roots and stuff. Should oh, yeah. always go um, with what you think is the most obvious, awesome choice. Obviously, not the most awesome choice. Oh, he's got to go. Oh, he's got to get away man. from your uh, suckage. The, the forest is calling me. Yes. Um, Bobo the So I, I actually need to go now for one of my quests. Oh, like, <laughs> there, there needs to be. There needs. They need. Listen. Pass this along. They need to start the Boba the Hawk series. Boba the Hawk, filled with green glitter. Boba the Hawk, <laughs> like just lay inside. Like I, I think I could get into the Boba the Hawk series. Where are you going? Oh, it's a quest where I help the tree spirit people of Darkwood against the industrialist capitalist Bye, development. Elsie. It's gonna be cool. Have oh, a good sweet, day. Let's go. Thank oh, you sorry, for being here with us. Only. Like it's a herbalist unlock area, uh, so you can't come. Oh, um, no, I actually ride there on a spirit elk. Oh, that's, that's cool. I actually, because I've got like kind of some of my, my own quests, some pretty cool quests to get on with and stuff. Well, I mean, good luck, bro. Yeah, man. Cool, man. See ya. Bye. Awesome. He's so awesome. You suck, Rowan. You suck. <laughs> better start. You better start. There you go. Fuck this. <laughs> oh, hello, adventurer. Did you manage to find the herbs and flowers I need? Sure did. Ah, oh, perfect. I am, Thank you LC. so much, adventurer. I'll finally be able to make the medicines the town so badly needs. No problem. Now for your reward. It's not much, but it's all I've got. Nice. And you know what? Since you've been so lovely and helped okay, me cool. out, if we'll you be ever here. need potions or spells, come visit me and I'll be sure to do you a deal. Nice, fender perks. Thank you very much. No worries, dear. You know, you remind me of my son when they were your age. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Thank you again, adventurer. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you again. See ya. Damn it. Oh. oh, whoops. What are you doing? Oh, I was trying to get out the door, but I accidentally picked this up. Safe. Uh, no, no, I'm not a thief. Oh, look, I can put it back for you. There you go. It was an accident. Stealing from a poor old herbalist. Have you no shame? Well, no, I, that's the thing. I wasn't trying to steal. I was just trying to get out the door. Safe. I'm not a thief, okay? It was an accident. You'll pay for no, no, your no, no, crimes. No, 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 come on now. <laughs> oh, what the? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I'm Safe. sorry. <laughs> you shot me. Come on, no, please, it was an accident, it was an accident. <laughs> Fuck this, I'm out of here. Oh, not again, God damn it! That's good, that's good. She meant, she meant business, she meant business, she meant business. Oh. <laughs> Impossible! Help! 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 Let him know! Someone keep him off me! Ah. 
Shit! Shit! Oh, shit! I thought you back! Shit! Those arrows keep bouncing off. Nice job, Adam. Finally one sticks, because I was going to say that ranger needs to get new arrows. Those are the bounciest arrows i ever seen in my life. They're all, finally, finally something connects. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> this? Greatest team of all time. I think after this, we could summit Mount Schmarkenrog. Well, you really think we're ready? I think so. Well, a team like this, we can do anything. <laughs> I don't think there is anything that can divide a team like this. Oh, uh, totally. Yeah. 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 Oh. oh, wow. That's like, yeah. Uh-oh. Is the cod piece in there? The cod piece has to be in there. Look at the skull skull Raul. Ah, adventurers, welcome. Our heroes have arrived, men. Are you ready? I've seen Are this. Are you ready for the biggest war Azurim has ever seen? Uh, um, yeah? Uh, heck yeah. <gasps> the time to defeat the army of Eternal Fire once and for all has come. Army of Eternal Fire. <gasps> all of the races of the Alliance have converged to fight back this evil. Look at all the stars. This is so cool. Even the orcs, the trolls, the kobolds, and the murgolds of the pact have joined our forces. The same. This shall be same a battle. Con. For the ages! Oh, it's the end battle of the expansion! Oh, this is gonna be so tough! When the combined armies of the Alliance and the Pact crest that ridge and descend I'm into the evil of the Hawk. Oh my god! The army Bubba of the Hawk, the movie. Fire shall be immediately upon us. That'd be we good, must Death defeat Con. as many as we can if we are to have any chance of pushing them back through the corrupted portal, back into the Firelands from whence they came. So I ask you. One more time, are you with me? Yeah! Oh, that's cool, man. It's Fire Lord Commander Gurken! This is gonna be so cool! Oh my god, that was amazing! Oh my god! Good work, adventurers! Now, to the war! Here comes what? the cutscene, man. What's happening? You never well, why get is everything anything going good dark? when you see this. <laughs> No. No, you failed. Well done, heroes. Congratulations, You failed when you bought it. You have you failed when you bought won it. this war. We, we, sorry, we won? We have finally defeated the armies of Eternal Fire. Damn Finish developers. The scale of that battle. Publishers the pushing time which limits. Which shall never see again. Cut scene that killed Wait, the what? game. That was the war. We fought like three demons between us. Mm. What? No. <laughs> No, you fought, you fought thousands of demons. I saw it. Mm. No, we uh. didn't. Yeah, you did. No, that we didn't. That just leaves a bad taste yeah, in did. the mouth, yeah. you know. So. You guys led the entire army of Ezrim uh. to victory. I didn't even see an army. Do you see an no, army? Well, I, didn't see, I didn't see anything. Why? No, <laughs> you killed the Fire Lord, go kick. Uh, yeah, but that was basically it. Uh, there was no war. It was a big old war. Look, look a at big the old war. Look at the, the, the scale of the battle. That? That's a CGI matte painting! Look! 
I can't even go that oh. way. We were never down there. We were not a part of that war. Why, that's bullshit. The... Where is the great war that we were promised? Where is the war? The people of Azarim, thank you. Oh, no, you f***ing don't. <laughs> oh, what's that? What's that? Oh, oh my god. Oh, ah, oh, the, the, the king has no. called me to arms in Godorn. I'm sure the king needs him. The king needs him, doesn't he? Clearly. Yeah, so I must, I must. I've got to go. Okay, yeah. You uh, truly just are. Just get out of here. The get, heroes get. of Azarim. What's happening? <laughs> Roll the credits. What's happening? No! I can't believe I paid $70 for this game. <laughs> no, but I want my war bread. No! I know. Come back! I hate Eternal it. I fire. want my war bread. It's okay. No! Good night, sugar plum. Good night, daddy. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a bedtime story? Oh, yeah, is this sure. the loot what rat? This is the loot I want rat to one. hear about the loot rat. Mm -hmm. Come on, wait, wait. I want to hear about the loot rat. <sighs> okay. Did you know that scattered all over Azrim are wooden crates and boxes? Barrels and chests, sometimes locked with big old locks. And inside all of these pots and crates are little trinkets, treats, and everything great. Sometimes it's a sword, sometimes it's a shield, sometimes it's ingredients for a nice hearty meal. But no matter where it's hidden, all over the lands, Adventurers want it all in their grubby little hands. They search high and low through dusty old vases. Greedy smiles on their adventuring faces. Aha! They yell. This is the best. This loot will help me complete my quest. But do you ever think they stop to ponder on how these things got from here to yonder? Who put no shiny rocks in that box? Who put that scroll in that bowl? Where did it come from, this beautiful shiny armor? How did it get here in these gems, in the house of a farmer? If only they were to look below, they'll discover the answer is under their nose. It's the loot rat! Scurrying about in the dead of the night, moving through the shadows to keep out of sight. No matter if it's a mace, a book, or a fancy hat, it's always delivered by the one and only Loot Rat. Oh, cute. <laughs> Some say he's a prince under a curse. Nonsense. So, so much worse. He's a mystical being, a treacherous fiend, a monster with a devious scheme. But we know the truth, we know the facts. He simply is what he is. A humble wee rat. Yay, I love the loot rat. I know you do. I want him to be my friend. And I'm sure he wants to be your friend too. Okay, good night. Yep, see, this is a great example of Fred being a good father. You know, it's like sometimes you hear the quests. He's not too careful with his many, many children. God only knows how many children he has. And as nobody really knows the full count of children that Fred has. Generally speaking, you would think that Fred would be a bad dad. But like here we have great example of Fred taking time for the for for these beautiful stories being told here. Mm -hmm. Great. I'm sure his wife appreciates it. Good night. Good night, Daddy. Okay. Good night. Is she asleep? Yeah, well, she will be soon. Well, off to work. Oh, Fred, please, do you have to? What? Can you please wait until you finish? It's a little strange, The neighbors though. might see you. Why? Yeah, I, I, <laughs> like, the, the, that, I, mm, I don't know about that. Are you embarrassed <laughs> being sitting it's with like, me or yeah. something? Yes. You don't need the, the rat mask. Rat for I am very embarrassed. <laughs> what I do is important oh, work, okay? Here we oh, here we go again. Yeah. You know what? I actually can't come out, okay? I have an entire fortress to restock in Schmarg and Rock, so I do not have the time, or quite frankly, the energy. <laughs> right, Ben. Why does it have to be you? Huh? Can't you just get like a nice, respectable job? You could go back to being a fruit merchant. You liked that. Come on, Frida, we've been over this before. I just don't want to be the one to have to tell our daughter that her daddy is a rat. She loves a lewd rat. That is because you fell her head with that bullshit nurse you want every night. I hear you. Okay, okay, listen, listen. The man 
just because he wears a, a rat mask, you know, it's a little strange, okay? It's a little strange, but he's trying. He's trying. He's trying all he can do. He's trying everything that he can do. He's even stealing. He's even stealing for his own family. It's not a great profession to be a thief. I mean, he should take the time out to actually want to be more for himself. If you really think about it, why would he even slide into this role? He had a very profitable fruit merchant business. <laughs> it wasn't profitable okay. at all. Are you done? Yeah. Yeah, um, I'm done. He couldn't cut it as a fruit merchant, so he had to start stealing. Oh, fuck it, I'll deal with it in a moment. But he's trying. He's... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So, so much loot. Uh, how did it adventure? Back the way I break? see it, you've got three options. You could subscribe, you could check out the other videos, or you could pash me. No one right really here, knows you. Right now. <laughs> okay. Part 26 will be next week. It has been a blast. Oh, we're almost done. We are almost current. I'm very excited. <laughs> like two more weeks. Two more weeks will put us into December and we will literally be current. We started this how long ago? Let's go back. Five months ago. It is sad, but it's okay because we are we are going to go to board and start board. We're still doing Dungeons and Dragons, which is cool, and we'll keep staying current, which is which is really awesome. So like, there's plenty plenty fun things to watch from Viva the Dirt League. When you guys showed me this, that the particular skit that we watched where Ben went the herbalist route, right, and he had like all that's green and Bobo the Hawk. That was, I think, the very first. Viva La Dirt League sketch I ever saw, and it was because of you all. And uh, it is kind of neat. It is kind of neat. We're almost there. I feel like some achievement. I, I feel like it's some type of an achievement. Like I need some type of Viva La Dirt League epic NPC man. I am current trophy. <laughs> is there a trophy that exists like that, Pepe? <laughs> Let's get it going.